Yeah, while well, we paint. You yeah, do you want to paint something for Jonah? You want to paint something for your brother? Even with your first child, everybody says, you don't know love until like you actually see them and like hold them in your arms. Like, you know, you think you can, and as soon as like they put that baby in your arms, you're like, oh my gosh, like this is what they like talk about. You know, like this is what it feels like to actually like love a child, you know? <laughs> We were married for about a year, and then we decided we wanted to grow our family. We tried through traditional methods, and we went to several doctors um, and discovered that, unfortunately, we were not able to have biological children. We decided to do a cycle of IVF. We got to the point of where a transfer was done, and they transferred a set of twins. Two weeks later, we went back for our blood test and found out the pregnancy did not take and we unfortunately lost both. Yeah. Boys. Yes. Lunch. Yes, sir. They're so different. And they're all I don't know, all their all their attentive needs are different. This one it calls my name all the time. Hey mom. Hey mom. Hey mom. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, mom, why is it dark? Hey, mom, why is it raining? Hey, mom, watch this. Hey, mom, look at my sandwich. Hey, mom, should I wear a jacket? Hey, mom, what kind of jacket should I wear? What it's like to raise kids. It's hard. It was hard, but we all got through it, and now my kids have their own children. They come to visit Grammy, and then they can go home afterwards. That's what I like about it. Get them over to the house and you can spoil them and then send them home. Mommy. What? Mommy. Then I'll be back in just a minute, kiddo. We talked about it before we got married. I felt like it was a, a, a good way to grow a family. Um, and I had, I had been to Guatemala when I was 16, and I got to see some major things that are upsetting and also very enlightening and glorifying, and I wanted to be able to be a part of that in a small way. Bringing a human in the world, like you have a second chance to be redeemed again, if that makes sense, you know, to kind of try to do things better. God gives us a chance to, you know, raise someone in his likeness and to show love and patience like he shows us. Are you painting on yourself? <laughs> okay, but can you paint more on the paper than on yourself? You, okay, that's fine, I don't care. It's washable, right? I think it's okay. If our pregnancy had gone to due date, our twins actually would have been born April 15th. So this would have been my first Mother's Day. There's so many places where perspective gets lost and it gets very one-sided. And it's, you know, people only see the traditional mother. But moms are so much more than that. <laughs> to allow people in has been really hard, but the more people God's bringing into my life, it's helped me not feel lonely. I've also learned that I can do this. It's kind of scary sometimes, but I can do it. Hi, Cohen. How you doing, buddy? Good. Good. Do you want me to take your backpack? Between my oldest son and my middle-aged son, I had like three miscarriages. It was really hard, especially after trying so hard and then losing three of them. We just prayed and all of a sudden it worked. When they're born from your belly, it's a little bit different because you have that attachment period um, where they, they need you for everything. When they come from your heart or across seas, it's a little different. You're all of a sudden thrown into life with a talking, moving um, individual um, who has their own personalities already. See, it comes right off. All right, I'll get, I'll get the other one. But don't do it again, okay? I know who I am, and it, 
you know, being a wife or being a mom or a friend, like that doesn't define me. And I, I love who I am because of the things that God has like brought me through. Hey, what color is that? Blue. <laughs> That's blue. Our first title has to be child of God. He's got a plan and it's bigger and it's gonna be more beautiful than anything I can see when it's done. And I may not have the answers until, you know, I get to see him and ask my questions. But the point is he's got it. You know, God's done a number on my heart, just giving me this this joy. God just keeps me happy. Be patient. Listen to your kids and um, share God with them. The most important thing, I think, is the listening part. And of course, to have faith. It was a very large dream that took a very long time to fulfill, and all of a sudden it's here, you know? It's complete. Mm -hmm. How can we make you into a train engineer? Hmm? <laughs> don't put it, no, don't put it in. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs>